friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are unboxing some very magical things. That's right, today we are unboxing the wizarding trunk owlery crate. Now, one thing I noticed is when the owl post arrived, I was like, oh, what is this? Look at the new packaging. What? Oh, it's like a new box. I do not recognize this, but I gotta say, I really like the look and we'll have a little closer look in a minute. Now, this video is sponsored by the Wizarding Trunk and the box and its contents are not Wizarding World official products, but, oh my God, I just, we let's get into it because it feels all new and shiny and I'm like a child at Christmas. Okay, so if you're brand new to this channel, firstly, hello, welcome. Don't forget that you can click the subscribe button if you like to come part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, because I'm intrigued about this new looking wizarding trunk. Okay, let's have a look at this brand new, fresh look of the wizarding trunk packaging. So it looks like an old wooden crate with some rivets in there. We've got the owlery on here. I actually really like this design. I think I prefer it from the last one. It says up to no good here and it says the wizarding trunk here. On the front we've got a little lock and some what appear to be runes. Runes. I don't know why I tried to go Scottish. I'm, I'm, I apologize for my Scottish viewers. What else we got on this side? It says first class outpost and it's got vile incantum potions and cursed curiosities and it says i shall not tell lies okay give me some umbrage vibes there that's no yeah we've got the wizarding trunk socials there and it says fragile magical delivery with a little widdershins joke shop sticker okay i think it's time to have a cheeky sneak peek let's undo that lock Ooh. <gasps> There's your sneak peek. Let's start with the top product. Okay, so we've got ourselves a t-shirt. It's in this kind of, I mean, it's in one of my favorite colors, green at the moment. This is more of an olive green than a sage green. And it says potions club. We've got a rune on a little cauldron there. We've got lots of potion bottles. That one's got to be Amaltentia or a love potion of some sort. But yeah, so what do we think of this t-shirt? Is there anything on the back? Oh, <gasps> No, this is the back. I do apologize. Let's start from the front. Whishing. Okay, this is the front. So this is Potions Club. Okay, so we've got that on the front as a little, a tiny little Potions Club emblem. And then that is the back. I do like this color. I do tend to wear a lot of green lately. I really, I was actually wearing a color very similar to this yesterday, but this is a Potions Club. Okay, so this is gonna be like a potions themed box. I mean, you probably know by the title by now, but hey, we're discovering things together. So there it is. And this is what it would look like on. And then if I was to face backwards, there you go. So I quite like it. It's it's not garish, it's wearable. I like it. Let me know what you think of the t-shirt down below. But let's dive into this box because potions, as you can tell, are one of my favorite things to collect. Okay, so this is what is actually underneath the t-shirt. They're not giving too much away. Everything's quite well packaged, which is nice, especially if there's gonna be fragile items in there, which there might be. Let's, I'm gonna go with this medium. Oh, it's not actually medium, it's quite large. This is a mystery box, okay. I like the mystery, I like the suspense. What do you guys think it's gonna be? Leave a comment down below, no cheating, no looking ahead. What do you think this product's gonna be? Okay, I literally have no idea. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling we've got some glass of some sort in here. Oh, I think there's two items. <gasps> okay, okay. This is Gilly tonic it says an aid to underwater breathing and this is by the pure blood apothecary this is i believe let's see is this a sticker there we go yes yeah, so it is a sticker so we can stick it on ourselves love the design of this label really nice and i guess this is the bottle that we're meant to put it on okay this is a beautifully sized bottle it's a nice shape i love the twine we've even got a cork okay let's see what there is what else is in here because are you ready oh oh okay mystery things we've got our bottle we've got our label we have something mystery in this pouch and then we've got a mysterious green serum which what happens when we shake it 
not a lot but there we have it we've got a little vial with green let's see what is in the, ugh, the mystery bag <gasps> okay i'm not going to pour all of that out but there are some pebbles now you may have seen me do a gillyweed diy on this channel i will link it above right now if you want to check that out after watching this video but they have given us a, it's like a gillyweed kit. It's like make your own. I really like this This is something that I have not seen in boxes before where it's like kind of DIY do your own Here are all the all of the kind of things to make it with. I think that's really cool So yes gillyweed pebbles a little sack. We've got our little Vial we've got a little green tonic and our label. So that's gonna be really fun. Uh, am I gonna make it? Mmm I want to read about it. I want to know what this liquid is, but I think that's going to look absolutely beautiful when I put it together on my potion shelf. I really like the interactive element of this piece. Yeah, it's new. I'd like to see more of this. Okay, let's see what else. I think we've just got the pin. Oh, no, it's a key. It's a very tiny little key, and it looks like it might be a, a lucky key is it the potions storeroom key? There it is. It's it's black. This looks to me like liquid luck. On the side it's just flat. Uh, it's a shame that it wasn't 3D on the back as well, but either way it's a nice little thing. This would look great in flat lays. Is it my favourite key I've ever received in a box? No it isn't, but it's definitely on theme. Look at that. Oh, look at that shine. I do like that. Even if you look quite closely, actually, the key mechanism part, there's actually a little vial in there. So the design is quite nice. Let's see what else we've got. On top, there is a cauldron and it's got a kind of like magical, steamy, uh, what would you call that? <laughs> I don't know, but either way, I think that's meant to be a potions storeroom key, so hide that away from any professors in case you want to uh, steal some potion ingredients. Not that I would recommend doing such a thing. Ooh, okay, this is a pin. So let's have a look, got a square backing. I love the design, it's that kind of marbled school textbook kind of vibe, it's double clasped as well. I have noticed that the wizarding trunk have gone to these kind of normal clasps, they had really odd shaped clasps in the past which always confused me. But there we have it, let's have a look, look at it, looking at it for the first time together. <gasps> Okay, ooh, oh, living death. This is nice. This is a hard enamel pin. I really like that. We've even got a skull in there, just in case you weren't sure that it was uh, a living death potion. That's really nice. That would go with many potion pins. We've even got like the little cork up there too. I really like the whole aesthetic of this pin. I love that the pin works really nicely with that backing. I do tend to take my pins off the backing to put them onto pin boards. Speaking of pin boards, I really need to update mine because I've got my little treasure chest with all of my pins that I've been saving, which maybe I'll make a little video about that and show you all of the ones that I've been hoarding. Yes, I am a pin hoarder. I feel like I need to go to Pins Anonymous. Imagine if that was a thing. Hello, I'm Cherry and I am addicted to enamel pins. <laughs> I feel like quite a lot of us would probably need Pins Anonymous, but yeah, there we have it, a living death hard enamel pin, really nice. Okay, this is, this is a pretty good box so far. <gasps> we've got something in bubble wrap, which looks like a vial of something. Okay, we've got a cork stopper. Look at all the hat, oh, it looks like really cool ingredients. I think we've got some lavender in there. I think we've got some sort of salt like Himalayan salt. Not sure what that is at the top. Uh, oh, it says ingredients. So yes, we have sea salt, which is the bottom layer. Then we have some hibiscus, which I think is the yellow, maybe. Um, then we've got some lavender, as I pointed out. We've got some pink Himalayan salt. We've got some rose petals, which I can see kind of with the lavender as well. And then we've got something called calendula flowers. Maybe that's that one, but either way, that's beautiful. Can we use this for something? Oh, this is a product from, oh, you know what, Alchemy for Skin? This is really nice. I didn't know that this was the Alchemy for Skin product. Is this for a bath? It doesn't say what it is. It says, um, calming drought, draft, 
calming draft. <laughs> I always get confused between draft and drought. I assume this might be something to put in the bath. Now I will have to get something, if it is, I will have to get something to put this in to then put it in the bath because I don't know about you guys, bath bombs and that kind of thing with the bits. I don't like to be bathing with bits surrounding me but that's really nice. That's a really nice product. That is something that I would definitely use. I love the whole aesthetic of it. The label is actually really beautiful as well. I would love to see more stuff like this, but I cannot wait to read about it, but I'm assuming it is for a bath. I definitely use a lot of bath salts, but hey, I guess we will see when we get to the cheat sheet. Really like that. Okay, we've got, ooh, Bone Regen. This is by uh, Galley Pots Apothecary, Magical Remedies and Healing. So I'm guessing this is their take on Skelly Grow. Uh, it's got ingredients down here. It says uh, mandragora leaves, porcupine quills, black lacewing flies, tangled golden glow seeds, powdered human bone, ooh, and giant spider venom. Ooh. Not sure I like the sound of that, but let's see what is inside this box. I do like the design of this. It's giving me very spooky magical vibes. Okay, we're in. Oh, oh, we got some polystyrene. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of polystyrene because it squeaks and it makes my spine kind of go, Ugh. Okay, but normally it's a good sign when it's in polystyrene because it means that it's a fragile piece. Let's have a little look. Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. It's a mini... It's a, it's a decorative piece. Oh, that's lovely. That's going straight onto my potion shelf. Uh, I do actually have one of the Skelly Grow bottles, which is one of the official products. And this is like a mini bone regen take on that. This is made out of some sort of resin, but this is a really nice looking piece. I love the detail. The paint job's really nice. It does look aged. I've got polystyrene on me. <laughs> but yeah, it's even got a little top, a stopper in the top as well. And yeah, I really like that. I think that's a really nice thing to have in a, a potion themed box. What do you guys think? Okay, we've got some nice things in this box. Okay, how many things do we have left? Am I seeing another pin? Oh my God, there's so much in this box. Okay, this is what we're gonna look at next. This has got my attention because it says black lacewing flies. This is also by the Pure Blood Apothecary. I love the box. Look at that design. We've got all the flies on there. And then on the back, it says only the purest of potions. Really nice box. It's actually a really thick box. So this is definitely a keepsake that you could store things in. Let's, um, I'm, am I going to be able to get into this box? It's really light in there. Um, <laughs> It's not heavy, so it's quite... Oh God, I'm not gonna be able to open it. <sighs> oh, oh, okay, okay, I think we're in. Okay, let's have a little look at what is in here. I mean, it's probably gonna be flies, right? Oh, 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 that grosses me out in a good way. Like, it's, it's a really nice um, idea. Um, I don't want to... I'm gonna put them on my hand. Oh, this is gonna creep me out. I really hate bugs. Um, <laughs> there are indeed some black lace wing flies this is really cool guys it's gross it's creepy but look at them they're really detailed i love their little kind of red eyes so yeah i guess if you need some black lace wing flies for any of your potion making we've got some ingredients okay i'm gonna put those back in the box where they belong <laughs> we've got some more bubble wrap down here which i think oh has another potion in it okay this is another vial let's see what is inside here <gasps> okay so this is armadillo bile oh is it just me that hates the word bile this is an orange blossom squeezable wax melt okay i don't think i have anything to melt wax melts on but apparently this is a squeezable version which i don't think i've ever heard of but that's really interesting let's open it on up and let's just, oh, that smells really good. It smells like, I mean, it smells like orange. You guys know my feelings about things that are orange scented. Yeah, it kind of looks like, I'm gonna squeeze it very gently. Oh, 
it kind of looks like it does look like bile it looks a little bit like snot as well if you'd called this troll bogies i would have believed you but yeah so i guess if you have one of those wax melt things with the little tea lights underneath you can squeeze this in the top and this would likely make your room smell like orange blossom i love the look of this i think the aesthetic's good and the fact that it's a practical product as well and it's one of my favorite scents that's a winner for me like that this is a really cool theme okay we've got i sorry i've always wanted if this if they've pulled this off to be a really nice product um i'm gonna be very happy this says brass scale and it's a premium potioneer equipment equipment um i've always wanted a brass scale. This box for a start is really lovely. Uh, let's open it. I This has potential to be my favourite product and I've not seen it yet. I really hope they've done it justice. Let's open it on up. Oh, okay, okay. First thing that I'm going to take out is a metal bar. Okay, this is a good start. Oh, this is a really good start. Oh, they, I think they've done it justice. I think they've done it justice. Okay, this is, I'm um, the base of it i'm assuming it's very nicely well packaged oh 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 wizarding trunk oh yes look it's wooden this is my vibe vintage looking things with wood and kind of like metal and this kind of faux brass oh my god okay how do we work this? Is there instructions? No. I don't know how to put this together. Oh, I don't want to break it. Okay, let's just get all the components out. Do you even need to ask? This is gonna make the shelf, I can feel it. So here is the, the scale, hang on. Okay, I did just have to finesse my scales just a little bit because one of the chains has come off, but with pliers I managed to fix it and it's perfect. So yes, the rod does go into the base like so, and then you hang your scales off the, the little rod at the top like so. Oh my goodness, guys, that is probably one of the prettiest things that we've ever had in a subscription box now that is not all so we've got our scales which is pretty beautiful as it is but they have actually included some counterweights so here they are this one says i think it's three mil but you can basically put these oh onto the scales and make them different different heights which i think is pretty cool um i'm not sure oh oh and then if shall we put some more on this one this is gonna look so cute on the shelf oh wizarding trunk you've excelled yourself there we go and then i might put another little one on there as well and put him in the middle there we have it we have got our beautiful scales for measuring things that's just really gorgeous i'm a little bit blown away i wasn't expecting anything this is something that if i saw in a shop in like a magical witchy shop i would absolutely be purchasing because look at that it's really nice we're not talking about favorite products until the end but this is a high contender unless they come out with something even more exceptional than this in the last few items but wow wizarding trunk wow that's really nice that's a gorgeous piece this is just filled with a lot of magical joy my face feels all okay let's put this to one side okay we have a couple of more things to get through this to me looks like another pin we've got a double clasp this time it's bigger we're being very spoilt with pins in this box so this is the back it's a uh brick wall i haven't seen it yet let's turn it over oh Oh, trying to break my heart. That to me looks like the potions professor himself. Look at that shine. I really like these kind of wizard portrait pins. I think they're really nice. That's a really, oh, look. It makes me sad, but it's really, really nice. That's a really nice pin. And I think we've had a couple of others in frames like this. So we've got a bit of a uh, wizarding portraits collection going on. But there we have it. A, that's perfectly on theme as well. It's, it's, 
we'll talk about the theme at the end. Right, the last couple of pieces, we have got an art print of what looks to be um, a table in a potions classroom. We've got what looks to be like ginger on there. We've got potions and a pestle and mortar. So yeah, there's a little print. What else do we have? Oh, we have another page. Oh, preparation of the wolf spit. <gasps> Are we getting potion pages now? Because we had the A to Z of magical creatures, didn't we? And this to me is a potion page. If they're gonna do like a little <gasps> perfect potions, it looks like we might be getting potions unless it's just for this box. But yes, yeah, so this is the preparation of the Wolfsbane potion. And we've got all of the equipment, ingredients. Uh, so you're gonna need some vampire's bat blood for this, some quicksilver seeds and some moon wart. Wolfsbane of water and it's got all of the ingredients uh, sorry the instructions and some like runes very nice I do like a good a good page that looks like it's been torn out of an ancient book right we do have a rather large box and oh oh before we get to that they have actually given us I think I might know what's in this box has the penny dropped for you guys I think they have given us a tea light and my brain's going well where am I meant to use the tea light have they given us a wax melt thing in here they're spoiling us in this box okay let's I think they have I think they've given us a whole oh oh my god 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 okay so we've got the base We've got the tea light and we've got the squeezable, meltable wax melt. What are we going to melt it in? Oh, our very own ceramic cauldron! Oh! It definitely needs a dust. It's been in its polystyrene. But this hangs above here and then you can squeeze that in there. And I love the creativity. Um, I just think what a cute piece. That's so cute. Like, I'm gonna have to invest in some wax melts because uh, this ain't gonna last very long. But that's really nice. Another home decor practical piece. I wasn't expecting this. This is a really strong box for me personally. This is ticking a lot of boxes. Uh, that's very exciting. Okay, let's take a look at the cheat sheet and then let's talk about our favorite products. I mean, there's quite a few favorite products. Let's get onto the cheat sheet. So, potions class. And it says, welcome to potions class, students. The Gilly Tonic recipe for the potion you'll be making today is on the back of this card. <gasps> oh, okay. So it says, when brewed properly, this tonic will allow you to breathe underwater for a limited amount of time. So the ingredients that they have provided us with are stones collected from the body of water that you intend to swim in, two pieces of magical water plant, water collected from the body of water that you intend to swim in, uh, 10 mil of infusion of wormwood and one gram of silver. So, and then it tells you to how to do it. That's quite exciting. I'm definitely going to give that a whirl afterwards, but let's have a look at the cheat sheet. So we got 13 items. That's a lot. I feel like we've definitely been sports. So we had the Potion Club t-shirt. It says this super soft shirt is only available for members of the Potion Club. Then we had the Cauldron Wax Warmer, which we've just seen, which blew my mind. Uh, it says designed to make your room smell just like the potion that you're brewing. We also had the Armadillo Bile wax melts which came in this little tube <laughs> it says a few drops of this squeezable wax melt into your new wax warmer will fill your room with the amazing scent of armadillo bile or orange blossom then we had the portrait pin it says this portrait hangs in the dungeon and oversees your potion classes then we had the potion storeroom key i was correct it says this key allows you access to the Potion Master's private storeroom. Uh, then we have the Potions class print, uh, a view from your desk during Potions class. Uh, then we had the Wolfsbane recipe page, which was here. It says a page torn right out of Perfect Potions. 
Then we had, oh yeah, these creeped me out. The Black Lacewing Flies, a staple for your potions kit or shelf. Then we had the Bone Regen Potion. This healing potion mends and strengthens broken bones. It can also regrow vanished bones entirely. I mean, little goes a long way. Then we had the Living Death Pin and it said that I dare say one drop would kill us all. Then we had the Gillyweed <laughs> Tonic Kit, which I've got some of the components here, and it says it's time to brew your Gilly Tonic to breathe underwater. We can't wait to see the bottles that you make, decorate them however you like, and tag us with TWT Potions Class on Instagram. Then we had the Vintage Brass Scale. <laughs> it says scales from Warwick's Potion Supplies are a necessity when weighing potions ingredients. And then last but certainly not least, which is the one I wanted to read about, this is the Calming Draft Bath Potion. This mixture by Alchemy for the Skin contains pink lame salt, uh, all of the ingredients that we've already read already, and it says that it makes a calming bath and looks great on a potion shelf. So yes, if you didn't want to use this in your bath, you can just add it to your potion shelf. So it does have two uses. I really like that. We've got a practical side of it as well as a decor side. Let's talk about my favorite products then. I feel, feel like you're already gonna know. Coming out top, unsurprisingly, the brass scale set. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, then it's got to be the cauldron wax melt kit with the little squeezy thing and you know what i really did like the bath calming draft that they have provided by alchemy for the skin i think it's do you mind my scales have gone all askew i think it's a really beautiful piece and i love the design of it as well let's take a quick look at everything inside this month's wizarding trunk the almory crate okay this is our magical haul from the wizarding trunk the almory crate surrounding their theme potions club i've got to say this box has filled me with a lot of magic and I think it's been probably one of the strongest boxes that we have seen from the Wizarding Trunk in a while. I just think everything looks good as a whole. It's all very on theme. We've got practical items, we've got decor ones, pins, wearables, we've got bath products, which I think is absolutely stunning this month. And even like the little ingredients, I think the creativity has been super strong in this box. But hey, you guys know that that it's not all about me and my opinions. I want to know what you thought of this box. So leave a comment down below. What was your favorite thing from this box? And let's see if we agree on some of the things. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go, I mean, my potion shelf's already pretty full. I'm gonna have to find um, some space for some of this stuff. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, five Hogwarts house points to you. And hey, give this video a magical thumbs up. And I guess I will see you in my next video. I need to find some space for this beautiful brass scale on the shelves. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at it. Oh, beautiful.